Realware Navigator 500 Hardware Overview. Today we will take a look at the Realware Navigator 500 hardware components and their functions. The black button on the front of the device, opposite of the camera, is the power button and fingerprint scanner. Press and hold this button for 3 seconds to turn on or off the device. Tap the button to put to sleep or wake up the device. The action button is a large single button located right behind the camera and serves multiple purposes. A single tap serves as a fail-safe method of returning to your home screen. Three quick consecutive taps will toggle the microphone array between the front and back configurations. Pressing and holding the action button will open the language select menu. Behind the action button you have left and right buttons that can be used when selecting your language. Once your language has been selected, press the action button to confirm your selection. The left and right buttons can be used to turn the volume on the Realware Navigator 500 up or down. The micro SD card door on the inside of the device band allows for insertion of a micro SD card. With a maximum capacity of 512 gigabytes for portable storage on the Realware Navigator 500. The door may be opened with a small Phillips head screwdriver. The swappable camera pod is located above the boom arm and can be pivoted up and down 30 degrees in either direction. Its camera captures 12 megapixel photos and 1080p videos. The boom arm allows for the user to adjust the position of the display pod and allows for six degrees of freedom, which means it can be adjusted up and down, left and right, and forward and back. It is comprised of a shoulder, elbow, and wrist joint. Its orientation can be inverted to allow use by left or right eye dominant users. The display pod can be rotated and adjusted so the user can see the display clearly. The display itself is an 854 by 480p 24 bit LCD display with 20 degrees field of view and one meter focal depth, meaning that it appears like a seven inch tablet held at arm's length. There are two sets of microphones on the Realware Navigator 500. The front microphones, active by default, are located on the display pod. The primary mic is downward facing, close to the user's mouth, and the reference mic is upward facing to pick up and remove background noise. The rear microphones are located on the side of the device opposite from the boom arm. These should be used only when communicating with the boom arm flipped back and out of your field of view. There is a 94 decibel loudspeaker that is located above each ear. The Realware Navigator 500 requires a rechargeable battery to function. The battery component is located on the side of the device opposite the boom arm. Press the battery button to check the battery charge level. The battery indicator lights illuminate white to show the battery charge level. You can charge the device via the USB-C port along with using the USB-C port for file transfer. It's located beneath the rear flap on the side of the battery. Headphones can be connected to the Realware Navigator 500 via the headphone jack found beneath the rear flap on the opposite side of the battery. We recommend using Realware 33 decibel noise reduction earbuds with your device. The Realware Navigator 500 comes with a work band that has an adjustable strap that rests across the top front of the wearer's head. If mounting to a hard hat or bump cap, this can be removed. The USB-C cable is included in the box with the device and is highly recommended for use with the Navigator 500 to ensure optimal charging and data transfer rates. For more information, visit support.realware.com.